This is MP12, Masterpiece 12 Lambor, aka Sideswipe, as he's known in the US. So this guy, first of all, is damn gorgeous. I mean, this is probably the coolest representation of a Countach, aside from, you know, just a scale replica I've ever seen. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. So we got this guy uh, in, uh, I think like, the end of the summer. Early, early fall, and I've been waiting to, to review this guy. I finally pulled him off my shelf. I figured Soundwave is coming. He's in shipment, so by the time you know, by the time this goes up, I will have Masterpiece Soundwave in hand. So I'm in a masterpiece mood, so I wanted to do this guy. So as you can see, he is a 1984 Lamborghini Countach, and he is officially licensed. If I can get it in focus, there is the emblem on the hood, right there below the giant Autobot symbol. There is Lamborghini Countach. Very cool. Very, very awesome. First thing you're gonna notice about this guy right off the bat is how ridiculously clean he is. I mean, the sharp lines, everything's perfectly clean. The underside is totally clean. All you see is pipes and hoses and and car bits. You know, this call passes for under the hood type stuff. I mean, this is totally awesome. It's totally clean underneath. There's no, you can't even tell that this is in any way, shape, or form a transformer. Tailpipe sticking out. Just totally, absolutely gorgeous alt mode. So, as far as accessories, this guy comes with a, his signature rocket launcher, as well as his gun, and they peg together. Uh, as you can see, there's like a T shape, and the grips on the handle, and the handle form the T on there. And you can do the most ridiculously stupid thing in the world. And there's a square button in there, and there's a square peg here, and you can. And they don't move because it's on a swivel. You can get it. Stupid thing always bends. There we go. And you can put a giant rocket launcher on the hood of a Countach. And if you saw this coming down the street at you, you wouldn't think anything was funny. You have robots in disguise sometimes. It's a little funky. So we'll take that, we'll take that off. I mean, it's cool that they gave you a place to store it. And um, as you'll see in my uh, Red Alert video, which is coming because he's in the mail with Soundwave, that's where the light bar for the sirens come in, uh, plug in. So yeah. The only thing stupid on the alt mode is this ridiculously huge Autobot logo. Um, as you guys also probably know by now, this guy did have paint problems. I got pretty lucky. As you can see, the only paint blotch I have is right there. Basically, this is this whole hood is metal, and it's black, and they painted over the black in red. So it's actually a different color. It's kind of hard to tell, but this is actually a different, slightly different shade. And that's the one paint blotch I got right there in the corner. So I am definitely not complaining at all about my figure. It also rolls incredibly nicely. It's got the crappy 80 rims. Everything on this guy is just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, let's transform this bad boy. So to start, we're gonna DeLorean up the wheels. And by that, I mean we're going to untab them. And then you can go, roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Yeah, I'm an idiot. You actually want to push them all the way to an angle like that, as far as they'll go. Then next, you want to come under here and wiggle. Just wiggle. Ugh. So you pull the arms out, you do that on both sides, just kind of pull that straight out to the side. It's kind of a little frightening. So you just want to put those, push those out to the side for now. Just leave them like that. Next you want to, uh, you're going to bend the hood. And in order to do that, the easiest way to do it is to just put your finger under the wheel well and just lift up on both sides because there are tabs right here. And you don't want to break those. We're going to just fold that as far as we can go for now. And then we're also going to detach, well, 
you're also going to lift the arm straight up like that. And we're going to come over here and detach the hood. Again, you want to be careful because there's tiny tabs. And just lift the hood up and get it out of the way for now. Next, what you want to do is you want to, the spoiler, this is all two sections because these are going to be the legs. So what you want to do is you want to split the spoiler and just fold it in half, like up like that. And you want to rotate these about halfway. And you can unpeg the legs and just kind of fold them out. And then you can rotate this guy around this way. And then we just want to fold the list down for now. So next, you want to come in this black section. And you want to just get a fingernail under there and just lift up. So that it unfolds. Unfolds on both sides. Just like that. If you notice, there's a peg right there. And there's a hole. You see the black? There's a hole in that black section. What you want to do is you want to straighten the leg. And you also want to do this the right way. This way, yeah. You want to lift this up. That will lock into place. And then you want to fold this down, and this will fill in the leg. Just do this. It's on a hinge here and a hinge here, so it won't line up perfectly. So you just kind of bend it until it lines up. Now what's also cool is, as you can see right in here, this section has a straight line and then an angle and then a straight line. So it's, it's you know, on this funky angle. It's actually cut out in the leg to hold this. So when you lift it up, it doesn't lock in, but it just sits there and it fills that gap 100% perfectly. How awesome is that? It's a nice little touch. You see the leg filled out over there. You do get a little bit of hollowness right there, but it's really not that big a deal. Pulled up the foot. Heel is inside the foot. Pop it out. Then you want to come up here. This is the one thing I didn't realize at first. I had to watch other people's reviews to see what they were doing. Oh, you can also fold back the spoiler. To get that out of the way. But you actually want to, with a little bit, this, the first time you do this, it's very tight. So you want to just push that down like that and that will fill out the side of the leg a little bit. And there's one of his legs done. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to lift up, push this the rest of the way till it locks in, come around, fold this down until that locks in, push up on this part, wait a second. Oh, I knew something wasn't right. This thing got bent. Why is that acting funny? Mm, I guess it just wasn't lined up properly. Okay, well, we're lined up now. Fold this bit up. Foot, heel, spoiler, just folds flat. Dustly. Okay, we're going to fold this bit just like that. Going to take his crotch, just fold the crotch piece down. So then we're going to come back here, and you see this black bar in the middle. What we're going to do is going to fold it back until that locks in, and then you're going to fold it at that other hinge. There's two hinges, and I'll click into place. And then we're going to pan the camera up so you can see a little better. Now you see this white, there's a white tab in here on his abdomen, and there's a, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, right there, yeah there we go, there's a notch in his bumper, and that, that notch is going to go into that tab, so we're going to do that now, you do it more by feel, I mean once you know where it is it's easy, and we're almost home free, pan up a little bit more. Um, right now you can take his head and it's actually in two halves, it's on a hinge and you just fold it up to complete the head. Take the arms, fold them out and rotate them around, double out, double hinge, just fold that out. Unfortunately the shoulders don't actually lock in, but they do stay there very securely. 
rotate it around, push it straight. Okay, then we're gonna come under here, fold this part out and flip the hand out. Um, he did also come with the pile drivers, but they're in storage right now in the box. Um, they just literally clip on like that. Um, I might get the Dr. Wu silver ones because I'm not paying a lot of money for the official ones and the Dr. Wu ones are actually better. Right, we'll see. I mean, I'm never going to display it with them, so it's kind of a waste of money. So we come back to the hood. I'm going to take the windows and just wiggle them free. And they're also on a double hinge underneath. It's kind of hard to see with all the black. Um, the first time I, the first few times I transformed them, I always transformed them differently. I'm pretty sure that you're just supposed to flatten them out like that. So you just fold it under. Pull it out and then fold it all the way down flat just so it's flat like that. That's what I'm going with. And you just double, it's on double hinge. It kind of locks in. I mean, it frictions in, it doesn't peg in, but I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's totally secure. And there we have Masterpiece Lambor, aka Sideswipe in his robot mode, and it is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful.